Okay, kita dah dah tengok dari segi uh, this one. Okay, macam mana sejarahnya eh, kita punya apa? Uh, what we call the, uh, the uh, sejarah kepada MPM ni bermula dengan uh, International Conference ICN 1992 dan kita, oops, sorry, dan kita pun ada our own uh, what we call MPM yang pertama in 1996-2000. Okay, and then uh, seterusnya kita ada dasar pemakanan kita sendiri yang di endorse oleh Kabinet in 2003. Dan kita continue with our uh, second MPAM, okay, MPAM 2 which is a, a 10 years plan yang mempunyai 12 strategy, okay, which is based on the, this one lah, okay, sorry, based on the National Nutrition Policy of Malaysia. And pada ketika itu juga kita mengadakan lah, okay, kita look at um, the midterm review of MPAM 2, okay, uh, uh, this one. And finally, they, there is another conference, oops, sorry, another conference, okay, in Rome in 2014. And hasil daripada tu kita come out dengan dua lah. And PEM 2016 and 2015. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, Tengok guna mouse. Okay. Dan okay. Sebenarnya uh, and PEM 3 ni dia baru je kan. Macam saya cakap tadi. Dia um, it's just started two years ago in 2016 and also this is the same as NPM2 is a 10 years punya plan and this NPM3 ni is very special sebab ya kandungan NPM3 ni it we refers to not only from the the previous NPM2 kita tengok apa yang terjadi pada NPM2 hasil daripada dapatan NPM2 but also this NPM3 was developed we referred uh, okay to the international as well as the national nutrition commitments not only in Malaysia, kita juga tengok juga dengan dasar-dasar yang uh, ada di peringkat dunia itu sendiri. Okay, kalau kita tengok kat sini, kalau um, we look at in terms of uh, 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 Malaysia punya uh, uh, dasar polisi yang lain, okay, and PEM3 ni kita kita develop based on, of course, the MPEM2, the previous findings from the MPEM2, dan kita tengok, tengok juga mana-mana, eh, um, uh, especially university, eh. university banyak uh, menjalankan kajian-kajian uh, orang kata program-program uh, nutrition uh, di pelbagai peringkat dan juga ingin melihat eh, bagaimana program-program uh, tersebut mampu untuk menolong uh, mengurangkan uh, Sebagai contoh, uh, kadar uh, uh, pre-diabetes uh, dekat Malaysia dan sebagainya dan seterusnya MPM3 ni juga uh, di, uh, dibangunkan berdasarkan kepada uh, Ministry of Health eh, uh, Kementerian Kesehatan Malaysia punya strategic plan 2016-2020 and also looking at other ministries. Kalau kita tengok eh, uh, kalau kita ingat lagi our previous module um, we, we talk about stakeholders, there are a lot of stakeholders. In, um, in fact, kalau kita cakap pasal um, uh, stakeholder daripada badan kerajaan, ia bukan sahaja tertakluk eh, kepada uh, uh, orang kata uh, uh, KKM sahaja. It can be from the Ministry of Education, it can be from the Ministry of Agriculture and etc. And kita tengok juga apa uh, uh, and uh, tengok juga and the policy makers tengok juga apa uh, other ministries punya policy and plan of action. And also kat Malaysia kita ada uh, plan of action and that is prioritized um, uh, specifically for the intervention of obesity in Malaysia. Kita try to link that uh, this MPM3 dengan juga plan of action for the obesity. We try to link with our uh, 11 Malaysia plan, okay, rancangan Malaysia yang ke-11 and also the national SCP blueprint 2016 and 2013. That, 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 um, and that were the national punya nutrition commitments. Even international juga, kita juga uh, melihat kepada dasar-dasar dan juga target-target um, uh, yang dikeluarkan di peringkat antarabangsa. Okay, sebagai contoh, saya tunjuk kat sini, uh, whatever that we try to have a strategies uh, here in MPM3, kita juga try tengok what is the global nutrition target by 2025. This uh, global nutrition uh, target 2025 is come out by the WHO. 
Okay. Uh, dan juga kita melihat eh, dari segi uh, International Conference on Nutrition 2014 which is ICN2. Uh, last time yang ICN1 eh, yang in 1992. So another uh, ICN. Okay. Kita lihat dari segi what is the Rome Declaration and the Framework of Action. And MPEM3 uh, ni juga uh, terhasil um, is based on the action plan, plan to reduce double burden of malnutrition in the Western Pacific region. We look at, we refer from uh, the, the Western Pacific region of uh, action plan. And also, um, not only that, kita juga refer to the Global Action Plan for the Prevention and Control NCDs. 2013 and 2020, we look at what are the indicators that have been um, developed okay, uh, uh, dekat global action ni dan yang kita boleh orang kata menjadi satu bahan ukur untuk membangunkan MPM3 and also look at the Western Pacific Region Action Plan for the Prevention and Control of NCD 2014 to 2020. And Kerajaan Malaysia juga policy maker pada ketika itu juga melihat kepada AIFS which is Asian Integrated Food Security Framework and Strategic Plan of Action on Food Security in the Asian or is known as SPAFS 2015-2020 uh, and also juga kita melihat dari segi badan uh, di Brunei, Bandar Seri Begawan Declaration on NCDs in Asia 2030. Ini semua ni hasil daripada all these commitments, nutrition commitments, maka terhasil lah eh, kita punya MPEM 3. Jadi, for group 3, try to discuss what is the framework of this uh, NCDs ada berapa ada berapa strategies ada berapa indicators activities etc try to present it here discuss with the group members and come up with a very interesting uh, presentations very precise and also innovative that we can share with others okay so nanti saya akan share kat you all the 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 content or, or the book uh, the policy itself For you to refer to, I have been I already uploaded in each of the groups. Lihat kepada polisi itu, duduk, discuss, and then after that, okay, kita boleh bincang sama-sama dalam kelas 